Hello and welcome to this week's Emerge 5. In this week's episode, we're going to be looking at our top five startup passwordless multi-factor authentication companies. And please stick around to the end of the show for a special interview with our number one company. So let's get started. Kicking us off at number five here, we have Orphan by ID. AuthN is interoperable and can be deployed in addition to existing SSO, hardware token, and password management investments. Insider threats and human errors are also reduced as AuthN offers no central credential database of any kind. Their security idea means that no data entry is needed to log in, meaning that if there is nothing to type, then malware can't steal it. All the user has to do is biometrically unlock their phone. Number four, we have Accepto. Accepto has an AIML-driven biobehavioral technology that analyzes and verifies your identity through real-time threat analytics using cognitive authentication, a multi-context combination of behavioral attributes and spatial temporal velocity to detect and prevent identity access fraud across the enterprise. And for end consumers, this allows understanding of user behavior, transactions, and application activity to create an enriched user profile and subsequently verify if access attempts a legitimate or a threat. At number three here, we have Secret Double Octopus. Secret Double Octopus helps us to liberate end users and security teams from the burden of passwords with the simplicity and security of strong passwordless authentication. The Octopus Passwordless Enterprise technology provides unified user experience and a consistent way to access workstations, remote services, cloud applications, and on-prem systems while providing strong protection against cyber attacks. It also has a standards-based design to ensure easy integration with existing business systems and applications, including third-party authenticators. At number two here, we have Hyper. Hyper wants to unite your security program with corporate initiative to drive business growth. It is a holistic and strategic approach. Your attack surface that was once expensive to defend now becomes infrastructure that is expensive to attack. Hyper's goal is to empower your customers and workforce with security for usability. True passwordless MFA improves security posture, productivity, and digital engagement by unifying the login experience across digital channels. And finally, at number one here, we have Beyond Identity. Beyond Identity is the first and only company to provide passwordless identity management. Beyond Identity's patent-pending solution employs self-signed X.509 certificates on endpoint devices to fundamentally change the way users log in to the network. It extends the server-to-server chain of trust established with TLS to users and their devices. It enables users to really go beyond passwordless authentication to complete passwordless identity management. So now joining me to explain this further is CEO and founder of Beyond Identity. I've got TJ Jermalik joining me. TJ, welcome to the show and thanks for coming on today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. It's great to have you here. And it's, um, as I was just saying in the introduction there, great what you guys are kind of offering from uh, from this passwordless perspective. But I want to just ask a couple of questions to get more of a, a background from yourself. So what are the kind of main misconceptions about passwords from a business and a user perspective? One of the biggest misconceptions has been played out over the last 10 or 15 years where people think that by strengthening the password, by adding a capital letter or a special character or you know making it eight characters instead of seven or ten instead of eight, that they're doing something for security. And Although that may have been true in the very early days of the internet when passwords were, you know, four characters long and easy to crack, um, people don't do it that way now. They steal the credentials by breaking into the company and and accessing the database where the credentials are stored. Uh, So it's no longer about password strength. It's about whether you have a password at all or not. So as long as there's one there, it could be a hundred characters long. If it's sitting there exposed in a database and a black hat can go steal it, then they can use it to get into that account or any other account where you've shared that credential. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not a complicated thing to kind of do if, if, if the information is already presently there. Right. So the, the next best thing I need to kind of ask you then is from a beyond identity, but also your perspective, TJ, what's your plan for the future of authentication and passwords or passwordless, I should say? Yeah, so the the plan is to completely get rid of the passwords, not just don't use the password like a lot of MFA P 
people are, are doing. They, they come up with a, a, a band-aid on top of the problem by creating a different system where they simply don't use the password. But unless you remove the password, then you're leaving that loophole, that back door in place. So our plan is simple. We want to completely remove the password from the database, from any uh, form of use within the system whatsoever, and go instead with a completely strongly authenticated bound identity where we know who you are, and we're testing that against what you're trying to do at every moment with a sophisticated risk policy approach that no matter whether you're going for an application or a network login or database access, whatever it might be in the system, you're constantly being tested to say, is this identity uh, correct? Is it properly bound? Is it properly authenticated the entire way of the journey? From what you guys are doing from your perspective, TJ, I think is definitely on the right track. That's why you're in the number one slot here. Uh, so thanks for coming on today and uh, explaining all of this to us. You bet. Thank you very much. And there we go. That's a wrap on this week's Emerge 5. Thank you to all the companies we featured and to Beyond Identity for providing us that great interview. We'll, of course, be back next week with another episode, but make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so that you're the first in the know. And, of course, for more great daily content, please head on over to em360tech.com.